Hello, Sun Beamers. I hope you all are fine. So in the previous two sessions of our classification, we have already studied about classifications of living world, that the basis, basic knowledge of classification and classification of plants. Today, we are going to read a very interesting topic and a very important topic in the perspective of biology till your class 12, that is classification of animals. We will classify animals. As I've already told you, the kingdom Animalia is divided into two broad groups, that is invertebrates and vertebrates. And on what basis the invertebrates and vertebrates are classified? On the basis of presence or absence of backbone or the vertebral cord. Backbone. If you go through your neck, down your neck, you will see your backbone. And the animals in which backbone is there, they are called as vertebrates. And the animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. Okay? So, now we will have the classification of invertebrates. So, the first class for the invertebrates are sponges. The sponges are also called poriferans. If you are comparing that with the sponge, sponge used by your mother to wash your utensils, you are wrong. These sponges are animals. Okay? Porous animals. These sponges are porous animals and where they are found? They are found in your salty seawater. Seawater is salty but they are found in seawater. And some sponges like your freshwater sponge, spongilla, is found in your freshwater. Don't need to remember about freshwater sponge. But you remember that sponges are usually found in seawater. But some sponges are found in the <laughs> fresh water. And the name of the sponge is spongilla. Okay. Sponges do not have nervous system, digestive system, circulatory system. They have a cellular level of body. They do not have any organ systems. They are a, a tube-like structure. Okay? They have a tube-like body. They do not have any system. Okay? <laughs> Instead, they depend on the water canal system. Remember, that is the water flow to their body to obtain food and oxygen and to remove waste. They depend on water that moves through their body by which they obtain food, oxygen and remove their waste. They have very small pores on all over the body and from where water enters from these pores. You see a sponge, you will find small, small pores here. So from these small, small pores, water enters through their body and on the top there is a large pore from which water expels. Okay. From which water expels. Okay. Now, what are the examples of sponge? What are the examples of sponge? Sycon. Spongilla. Two examples you have to remember. And while writing these names, you have to underline it because they are scientific names. Nidaria. The second class is your Nidaria. Nidaria are found in aquatic environment. That is your marine environment. Their body is radially symmetrical. 
sponges are asymmetrical they are not symmetrical but your nidarians are radially symmetrical radially means suppose i am drawing a nidarian here you can symmet you can cut the nidaria into two parts in five directions radially symmetrical into two hydrantical halves along any plane if you take any plane into consideration any plane you can divide this into two identical halves yes daria the body is tube like see they have a tube like body nidaria photo is not here i think yeah here is there you see their body is tube like body if i draw the body is tube like this is a hydra tube like body they are having and they are having a mouth only one opening that is mouth and the mouth is surrounded you see the mouth is surrounded by tentacles these are the tentacles why the tentacles to catch their prey because they are not heterotrophic you know so they are not autotrophic they are heterotrophic so the tentacles are used for capturing the prey for examples hydra and jellyfish and sea anemone hydra jellyfish and sea anemone are the examples of your hydra sorry your nidaria nidaria are also called cylindrata nidaria are also called cylindrata okay next is your platyhelminthes you see jellyfish photo is there jellyfish you must have seen jellyfish see there is a common opening mouth and here are the tentacles to capture prey platyhelminthes what is the third class platyhelminthes flat worms worms you have seen flat worms the simplest worm found in marine and fresh water the most common flat worm is your tape worm this tape worm can cause disease to your body that is tinnitus okay it is it normally affects your intestine the other examples are planaria you can see flat worm totally flat and liver fluke the they are bilaterally bilaterally symmetrical what is bilaterally symmetrical you can divide them in one plane only through one plane you can divide them into two identical halves they have only one opening through which they can take food and get rid of wastes see your nidaria your uh, platyal minthes they have one opening we have two opening our mouth and our anus by which we take food by mouth and by anus we remove our waste but nidaria take food by mouth and remove their waste also by the mouth okay tapeworms and liver fluke are parasite they feed on host okay this tapeworm as i have already told they at attack the digestive tract of vertebrates including human mammals now nemahelminthes nemahelminthes means round worm round worm round worm live in your fresh marine and terrestrial environments they are thread like as you see filaria or ascaris you see they are if you cut them like that you will see their circular cross their cross section will be round that's why they are called as round worm okay and they are unsegmented you will not found segments in them and they are bilaterally symmetrical they have two openings mouth and anus they have a mouth where food is pulled and crushed another opening is anus in the tip of the body okay they have two opening mouth and anus your platyhelminthes have one opening 
they are two opinion they are bilaterally symmetrical they are parasites that live in human intestine they reproduce sexually sexually means male and female are involved for producing their young ones they reproduce sexually by forming eggs see your nidaria your platyel minthes they all have asexual or hermaphroditic reproduction but they reproduce sexually some examples are your pinworm ascaris and whipworm okay example you have to remember pinworm causes you disease the, that uh, causes sensation in your uh, your rectum pinworm nodia we say that kurmi annelida segmented worms see round worms or nemahelminthes are not segmented they are unsegmented but annelida are segmented you have must have seen earthworms brown color worm you see that body they are segmented they are segmented where they are found marine and freshwater they have a soft segmented and bilaterally bilaterally symmetrical body see symmetry you have to remember gladially you will find synnidaria and all are bilateral symmetry. they have a body cavity okay also your uh, the kinodermata which will come they are also having a radially symmetrical body they have special organs of excretion called nephridia what is the organ of excretion of humans your a kidney but they have annelida's organ of excretion is nephridia example are earthworms and leech earthworm is called as farmer's friend because they improve the soil fertility they move through the soil and increase soil fertility leech is a parasite that attracts attracts itself to the host body and draws blood, blood leech sucks the blood of the host body okay it feeds on blood arthrophores animals with jointed legs arthrophores Animals belonging to this group have a segmented body. Again, arthropods also have segmented body. Insects are called as arthropods. The body is bilaterally symmetrical. You are doing three regions. These three regions. Suppose I am taking a cockroach. The cockroach is divided into three regions: head, thorax, and abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. Three regions. the body of most animals has a tough outer covering called exoskeleton they have a you see a cockroach it has a very tough brownish outer covering that is called as exoskeleton okay and they have paired appendages like this you will see paired appendages okay now again these arthropods are divided into sub groups arachnids crustaceans myriapods and insects arachnids in that head and thorax are fused examples you scorpions you see their head and thorax are always fused and they have four pairs of legs and we have a four pairs of legs and they have no wings in cockroach you can find wings but in arachnids that is scorpions and spider you will not find wings you will find appendages jointed appendages crustaceans head and thorax are fused here also appendages are present on all segments have very well number of jointed legs examples are of shrimps and lobsters your crabs okay myriapods body is divided into many segments the myriapods have two pair of legs per segment per segment they have two pair of legs okay some myriapod have one pair of legs per segment like in centipede in millipede we have two pairs of leg per segment pair means four legs one pair of legs in centipede that is two legs okay examples millipedes and centipedes insects body is divided into three regions head thorax and abdomen most insects have three pairs of legs they have three pair of leg each pair in each 
टी पेयर ओके हैव टू विंग्स पेयर ऑफ विंग सम इंस्टेक्ट्स आर विंगलेस एग्जांपल्स एंड्स बटरफ्लाईज ओके विद दिस योर एक्सप्रेस इज कंप्लीटेड नाउ मॉलुस्का सॉफ्ट बॉडी सेल्ड एनिमल्स यू विल फाइंड अ शेल यू सी स्नेल ऑक्टोपस ऑक्टोपस इज आल्सो मॉलुस्का बट इट हैज नो शेल फॉर यू विल सी अ स्नेल स्नेल यू स्नेल यस to see their soft body but a shell is present to protect them calcareous shell made of calcium they have soft unsegmented body okay which a hard shell okay some has one cell and some have more than one two cells attached to on one side okay and some cell some mollusk have the cell inside their body like octopus you have to remember some mollusk they have cell inside their body that is octopus and a snail has a coiled cell this thing you have to remember see you snail you see they have a coiled cell coil okay cell hoga examples octopus mushel butterfly squid snail and oyster echinoderm see spines spiny skinned animals echinoderm they consist of marine animals like starfish and sea urchin they have soft spines all over their body they have radially symmetrical body yes they are radially symmetrical you see they, you can divide them in any direction into two halves they have a mouth on the lower side you remember echinodermata ka mouth jo hai niche hoga aur anus upar hoga anus upar mouth niche okay there are a number of tiny tube like feet that end in suckers tube like feet hota hai unka uske par suckers hote hain nidarians have radially symmetrical body titania lives in the digestive tract of many vertebrates farmer's friend is your earthworm most arthropods have a tough outer body covering called exoskeleton now your classification of vertebrae vertebrae means backbone backbone is present all vertebrates have well developed closed circulatory system which means that blood travels inside the blood vessels to all parts of the body the nervous system is more complex in the nervous system brain jada develop hota hai vertebrates se okay and so they are more developed than the invertebrates ओके पीसेस दैट इज योर पीस पीस इज आल्सो अ वर्टिब्रेट दे हैव अ स्ट्रीमलाइंड बॉडी ओके दैट इज स्मूथ एंड नैरो एट द फ्रंट एंड द बैक स्ट्रीमलाइंड लाइक दिस दे ब्रीथ विद द हेल्प ऑफ गिल्स एंड दे हैव स्केल्स ऑन देयर बॉडी ओके व्हिच आर ओवरलैपिंग फ्लैट प्लेट्स that cover the animal's body and provide protection you will see a fish they have scales like that scales which that gives us that gives the fish protection they use fins to swim they have fins you see fins are there this one lateral fin frontal fin fin they are cold blooded animals why cold blooded because they cannot maintain a constant internal temperature their temperature changes with the surrounding warm blooded means they have a constant temperature bahar kuch bhi temperature ho body ka temperature constant rahega but in ka body ka temperature change hota hai with the surrounding example sea horse carp shark rapids pomfret and eel amphibians they can live both in land and water ye sabko pata hai cold blooded animals they have thin moist and slippery skin and they also breathe by their lungs and skin lungs mein kahan lungs and skin dono mein breathe kare amphibians return to water in order to reproduce and always lay their eggs in water water wo kyun jaate hain reproduction ke liye aate hain reproduction and again return to land after that Some examples: frog, toad, and salamander. देखो salamander देखो frog देखो toad देखो ठीक है reptiles 
lizard you must have seen reptiles are cold blooded again cold blooded kya kya fish reptiles fish uh, your uh, amphibians and reptiles they are cold blooded and avis that is birds and mammals are warm blooded okay most time them spend their life on land they have dry skin covered with scales dekho reptile ko scale hoga they breathe through lungs they lay eggs that have leathery cells example snake lizard turtle tortoise alligator and crocodile okay unka unka jo egg hoga unme leathery shells hoge leathery hoge thodi si okay leather dekhe hoge to leathery type ke wo egg lay karte leathery shells avis is birds warm blooded animal wo body temperature ko apna constant rakhte hain surrounding pe jo bhi asar pade चेंज नहीं होता है दैट बॉडी टेम्परेचर डज नॉट चेंज विद द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इन द सराउंडिंग ओनली एनिमल्स हुज बॉडी इज कवर्ड विद फेदर्स देयर बॉडी इज कवर्ड विद फेदर्स एंड देयर फॉर लिम्स फॉर लिम्स मतलब सपोज हम एक इंसान को ड्रॉ करेंगे फोर लिम्स मींस दिस वन हाइंड लिम्स मींस दिस वन लेग्स को हाइंड लिम्स बोलते हैं और हैंड्स को फोर लिम्स बोलते हैं तो देर पॉन्ट लिम्स आर मॉडिफाइड इन टू व्हील्स पर ये बर्ड्स के क्या दो लेग्स होते हैं और दो पर होते हैं दो पर को बोलते हैं हम लोग फोर लिम्स पर को हम लोग फोल्डिंग्स बोलते हैं एंड द हैंड लिम्स आर एडेप्टेड फॉर वॉकिंग पर्ची स्विमिंग दे ब्रीथ थ्रू लंग्स देर स्केलेटन ऑफ बर्ड इज वेरी लाइट बिकॉज देर बोन्स है लार्ज एयर कैविटीज उनका जो है न्यूमेटिक बोन्स होता है न्यूमेटिक मीन्स कैविटी बोन्स लार्ज हेयर कैविटी होता है बोन में क्यों क्योंकि बोन अगर अगर उनका ज्यादा हेरली हो जाएगा तो उड़ेंगे कैसे हाउ दे विल फ्लाई सो दे हैव अ बोन व्हिच इज वेरी लाइट एंड हैव लार्ज एयर कैविटी दे हैव हॉर्नी ब्रेक बीक हॉर्नी होता है एंड दे डू नॉट है तीत भी नहीं होता है उनका देखो बर्ड्स ये सब एडेप्टेशन लाए जस्ट टू मेक देयर बॉडी वेट लेस टू फ्लाई दे आर ले एग्स विथ हार्ड शेल उनका एग्स भी हार्ड शेल होता है एग्स तो देखे हो गए तुम बर्ड्स के क्रो ऑस्ट्रिच पिकॉक पेरट एंड पिजन लास्ट इज योर मैमस दे आर वार्म ब्लडेड एंड हैव हेयर ऑन देयर बॉडी यू ऑल सी यू विल बी हैविंग हेयर ऑन योर बॉडी बिकॉज वी आर मैमस दे गिव बर्थ टू बेबीज and only animals that produced milk for their even ones you when you were smaller you must have you must have drunk in the milk of your mother and that milk is produced by the mammary glands the mammary glands produce milk and that they feed to their young ones okay you must have also drunk in the milk of your mother produced by a mammary glands most mammals have external ears nose and possess special teeth specialized teeth okay we have external ears nose and specialized teeth and we breathe to our lungs fishes breathe through the gills amphibians through lungs and skin and reptiles to mammals all breathe through lungs they use their limbs to walk climb swim and fly some land animals have toes that produces claws and hooves for climbing and running aquatic mammals are whales and dolphins see whales and dolphins are not fish they are mammals whales and dolphins are mammals okay but they have fins why to help them for swimming Example of mammals: human, mouse, dog, tiger, bat. They all are the example of mammals. With this, this chapter is completed. Backbone of vertebrae is made up of one bone. No, there are many bones. In fishes, fins, fins, and there are the organs for locomotion. Yes, true. That help in swimming. Amphibians are cold-blooded. True. Amphibians can live only in land. No, they both live in water and land. Aves have horny beaks and they don't have teeth. True, aves do not have teeth. Now see, we will do some questions. Question number one. 
the arm like structure present on the opening of midarians are called tentacles and the lids have a soft segmented and bilaterally symmetrical body yes you see we will go to annelids see annelids where are the annelids see soft segmented and bilaterally symmetrical body true Organs of excretion is annelids, nephridia. I've already told you nephridia. The body temperature of warm blooded animals, warm means constant, does not change with change in environment. Born with larger pieces, larger pieces you will find in birds, aves, milk in the body of mammals produced by mammary glands. Scorpions and spiders are arachnids. Okay. This is the very important chapter. You have to remember it. Animals without a backbone, whose body is soft and often covered by a hard shell, mollusca. Invertebrates with jointed legs belong to arthropoda. Fish obtain oxygen from water through gills. They respire through gills. Vertebrates which spend a part of life on and but reproduce in water. Amphibians, the producing water amphibians, backbone of vertebrae is made up of number of small bones called, what are the number of small bones? Vertebrae, the number of small bones are called vertebrae. I hope you are clear with this, okay? We will meet in the next class, till then thank you, bye bye, take care. So we have completed classification in next class. Most probably we will start health and hygiene and diseases. Okay. Thank you.